Thank you. And if you if you look at that, that means this this isn't the proper app. This first of all, this again, this project, this application was made on 531. And I totally agree with you that the moratorium can't be put forth, the moratorium can't be put forth on an ongoing application. I agree with that. And this is an ongoing application that y'all have to either table or decide tonight, one way or the other. But if you look at the application itself, it's wrong, by the wrong party. And, and you'll see in the documents I've provided, these are two entirely separate legal entities. There's no question under in Georgia that one is an LFC that was created two years ago, and one was an LFC that was created a year ago, and the one created a year ago that they're contending they are is not the one submitting the application here. And not only that, you'll see a document in here from y'all's property records that shows they didn't even they didn't own the land when they made the application. And there's not as was in the first application. <coughs> Clearly in the first application, you had an affidavit from the property owners saying they're okay with this application being made. You don't have this. This is a deficient application. This application doesn't have half the stuff. It's a third of the length of the application on the first project. They're just trying to bootstrap it in under the end of the project. But this creates an interesting question. If it is like it says on the application, it is being made by Equipment Solar LLC at a 700 University Boulevard, Juno Beach, then this is an addition. This is an added part of the project. This would not be subject to a tax abatement. They're trying to submit it as a separate project to get the tax abatement because under the, your tax abatement, it provides that if they add to this project, they're going to have to pay 100% tax on it. They're trying to avoid that by having, oh, it's another project, even though it's the same project. So that's an important thing to look at. If you look out too, if you listen to what Mr. Land said, he didn't address his application as much as try to overcome the objections he thinks are out there to the project. There have been, I know, things sent to y'all prior to this meeting about the decommission, about a decommissioning bond uh, being put forth, a decommissioning bond of potentially a million dollars. But I want y'all to think about that just in common sense terms. This project's $120 million. We're talking about over a million solar panels. And they're saying that they can decommission this site for a million dollars. I would suggest to y'all that's, that's not a legitimate number. You have an expert here from the University of Georgia. I doubt a million dollars is sufficient. And, if, and under this agreement, Brooks County is the one that's going to shoulder this. It's Brooks County and the future citizens of Brooks County, children and grandchildren, that are going to shoulder the burden of getting rid of this thing when it dies. You, they also got, they play willy-nilly with these LLCs. That creates, I, you know, questions too. It, it, it's, well, we made the application, they'll say, we made the application wrong, or we meant to say another entity made it. But we don't want Brooks County to be stuck holding the bag at the end of this day. It, it, it's something that may need to be tabled to get into all, there's a lot of information, a lot of things that need to be addressed. They're saying, they're, they're amending their application on the fly. And I say that because they're creating, they're saying, we need decommissioning plan, oh, we got one. We need this, oh, we'll provide that. Oh, we don't have this, well, we'll find that somewhere and get that to you. We just want to be good, good citizens, good, good, uh, members of the community. Um, the flooding in we'll, we'll, we'll find that out. This is non-intrusive passive. You'll hear all those, those statements about the project, non-intrusive passive project. But if you look through some of these materials we've provided, and, and, and just to hit the highlights of it, there are, there's, a, there's a decommissioning bond you submitted. There's parts of your 2030 plan. If you look through that, y'all have gone out of your way in this official document to say, hey, we don't even want the power lines on a piece of property to show for future development. We want you to use underground lines. Well, why are you wanting to do that? You're wanting to do that to maintain the rural aesthetic. 
You don't want all this modern power line stuff. So you want it underground. Look, look through there at your different land use desires, because this is your That's official. That's your time, sir. Oh, thank you. 